interesting mock from Stranger Things Season 3. It's the scene where Hopper is fighting the Russian Terminator guy on the catwalk overlooking the key which is powering the gates to the upside down underneath Starcourt Mall. There's a lot of stuff going on here with this build, so without further ado, let's begin the video. This build features four main areas, each which was really built separately and added on after I thought I was done with the build. At first I only had the catwalk, then I added on some stairs, the key, and finally the gates. All this made the build to turn out to be actually pretty long and complicated. Let's start at the front of the build. A flight of stairs leads up to the catwalk where Hopper and the Terminator guy are having their fright scene. I built the catwalk by taking some fence pieces and attaching them to modified bricks sideways like this. This gives the floor a very open and industrial feel. The railings are made of different fence pieces and are topped off with gray tiles. The entire catwalk is held up by some rods and round bricks. Now let's move on to the key, the main component of this build. For building it, I had a lot of fun using weird LEGO elements that I don't use very often. I also looked at a lot of reference material and tried to make the key look as realistic as possible. The front of the key has got a claw surrounding a tire piece which is emitting the energy beam. Behind it is some sort of power source for the key, which I made from some clear 2x2 round bricks. The power source has got some electricity going out in different directions, as shown in the show. I then gave the key a combination of large dish pieces and a gear, plus a large wheel-like build with four knobs. Leading up to the back of the key is a build that is actually used for a water tower in the LEGO Detectives office set, which is made from some link tread pieces surrounding a gear. Next up are two more black gears, and finally, the back of the key, which is made up of some dish pieces in various sizes and colors, with a bunch of clip pieces loosely attached to an inside dish. I don't even know how this managed to work, but all of the clip pieces somehow fit inside snugly and don't fall out un until, until they do. The key fits loosely into two contraptions made from Lego rods, round bricks, and cheese slopes. I didn't want to pay too much attention to these, but I think that they ended up with a nice industrial feel. If you look down at the floor, you'll see that I included a lot of random boxes and wiring, as I noticed there was a lot of it in the show. For some of the wiring, I even got to use the pieces from the tentacles of the Sarlacc from Star Wars, which were some pieces I've never used before in a build, and I thought that they worked nicely. Some more things on the ground include a couple of golden grates in a few areas, which I added in to give a little bit of color contrast to the build. Just that touch of gold gives more of a gleam to this otherwise black and gray industrial scene. I've also included a small control panel that links up with some wiring. Let's move on to the final part of the mock, which is the gate. I built the gate on a base of plates and stood it up by using some clips and faucet pieces. Around the gate, I added some angled pieces to give it a more jagged feel. I also included some transparent red and orange studs all around the gate and some vines from the upside down. Finally, let's talk about the minifigures. For Hopper, I gave him an Aragorn headpiece and a Star Wars Rebel torso and hairpiece. The Terminator guy's got a spiky black hairpiece, Poe Dameron's torso, and dark brown pants. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how both minifigures turned out. Anyways, that's all for the build! Hopefully you enjoyed this new Stranger Things mock. It was certainly a challenge for me to build, but it got me to use a lot of new and weird pieces and experiment with building techniques. Leave your feedback for this build in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.